stop walking, I'm now static, and I'm static with a jewel beetle spotted by the great Herbert Causer, who's currently standing behind Craig and grinning like a Cheshire cat on account of the fact that he managed to find this jewel beetle. I said to him, Herbert, let us stop at this bush. There will be something on it. He said, ah, malum loto. In other words, there will be nothing on this bush. And then he cast his great eyes upon it, and there the jewel beetle arrived. Let me move it around to your side. Come on. There. Uh -uh. There we go. Now, it's not a very uh, bright jewel beetle. It's not a great representative of its kind, but it's quite interesting. And it's sitting on here a monkey pod tree, or Senna paticiana. And uh, Herbert reckons that this is an edible plant. He's just, he's just eaten one of the... <laughs> one of the pods. I've never seen that before. I'm definitely going to try it. Uh, I may be sick, so before I'm sick, let's have a look at something else living here. Here is a spider. Can you see it, Craig? Another orbweb spider. Totally different shape from the garden orbweb or the golden orb or the other little orbweb spiders we found earlier. He's rather a fatty, I think. Um, James, you say are there Shanghai names for certain individual spider species? Not as far as I've worked out. I mean, I'm sure there were in prehistory, but you must remember that very few of the local names for animals were based on sort of research. People out here have forever and ever struggled to, well, find enough calories to fill up their bodies. And so the language that they used for nature was seldom to do with research and much more to do with um, a knowledge of A, what was dangerous, and then B, what was good to eat. So it, you'd probably find that a spider like this... Something is biting my head now. You'd probably find that a spider like this had a, a a name that was very generic to all spiders of similar size that lived in these kinds of habitats and it would be it would have been based on whether or not they were edible and whether or not they were dangerous i don't know any of them i herbert's moved off now i'll ask him a little bit later when we get closer then over here we have a, some what look to be small assassin bugs in fact definitely a small assassin bugs there we go a little group of them there Marvellous stuff. It really is quite fantastic what you find on these plants. And these ones not quite the same red colour that we normally have. Isn't that wonderful? Elizabeth, you're wondering about the difference between a garden and a golden orbweb spider. Well, a garden orbweb is yellowish, like the one I showed you. Oh dear. <laughs> Excuse me, normally in the vehicle you can hide that sort of thing, but you can't when you're on walk. Sorry about that, Elizabeth. It's nothing boring to do with your question. And a, <laughs> That's so embarrassing. A, a, a garden or web spider. I'm really being savaged by flies. The garden or web you saw, the sort of two legs pincered to the front and two legs pincered to the back. A uh, very fat yellow abdomen. I hope it doesn't happen again. And then the golden orb web is a different color. It's a kind of mottled orange and a little bit of red, yellow and white and black and much more elongated. The legs much more evenly spread around the body. I don't have a picture with me, I'm afraid, and there have been very few this year, more than there were last year, but still quite few. We'll try and find you one. Uh, they're also a bit bigger, and they're just not quite as attractive, I don't think. I think they look a bit more creepy, if you like. Now, this is what Herbert ate. Do you want to try one, Craig? Mm. Yeah? Wait for you to you wait for me to try one, will you? That is as bitter as gall. Maybe I, maybe I had a, a, a not very ripe one. Really, it was quite disgusting. Here we go, let's try this one. I'm just going to take a very... That's horrible. It's called Senna Paticiana, or the monkey pod. And I mean, I've, I've never even thought about eating them because the leaves are... 
are smelly. They don't they don't have a nice aroma to them at all. So I've just assumed that everything about the plant would smell but would taste bad and certainly that would seem to be the case.